Uh, my name is Derek Lawrence and uh, this is Oswego Hills Vineyard and Winery. I just wanted to take, a, take the opportunity to introduce myself and also introduce one of our, um, one of our preferred vendors. This is Alex Ramey, DJ Cut. I've known Alex for about five years and we've done a lot of events together. And during that time, I, I've learned a lot of things. I've learned that, you know, there's a certain expectation that you want to hit when you when you do events. And so as a result of that, we've, we've worked with a lot of various caterers, photographers, DJs, bands, videographers, you name it. Alex, would you like to tell us anything about yourself? Yeah, we, we started our partnership, like you said, about five years ago. And it's always nice going into a situation with a wedding. You never know what to expect, but because we've worked together so many times, you know what to expect from me, you know what the client's gonna get, and I know what to expect for you, and there's no surprises. You know, you need somebody that's gonna be prepared for anything that's gonna happen. That does include the caterers as well. Um, I don't think people realize the amount of time just kind of on the back end that goes into hosting a large wedding. I know that for myself, just even being the event manager, I spend about 60 hours of time. So that's another reason why like, we, we require people to have a, at least a day of wedding coordinator, mm -hmm. just to kind of make sure that those, those things aren't falling through the cracks, because it is a lot of time. And when people are gonna be paying a premium and, and wanting that kind of five-star experience, then you better provide it for them. So the preferred vendors that you have for DJ and catering, why did you choose those DJs for the entertainment? And the, and the preferred vendors for catering. What what do they have in common and kind of what separates your catering company and the DJs apart from all the other vendors in kind of the Portland area? I think the biggest thing was trying to, um, especially with catering, was trying to hit all parts of the city, so to speak. Uh, one of our caterers is located in the Pearl District. One of our caterers is located kind of over in Beaverton. Another caterer is located out in the west side out towards Hillsboro. Another one is located right in Lake Oswego and then another caterer is located right in Southeast Portland. So we kind of have the, the Portland metro area kind of blanketed with, um, with full service caterers that do uh, a lot of the really nice um, big events around here. And they're, they're on multiple preferred lists, you know, all over the city. but. That was a big thing for us because you know our clients are coming from all over the place. As far as as far as the DJs go, um, really it just got down to it's who does the best job at the at the at the events that we host. Um, we've had probably 300 DJs through here over the years, and there's been some really good ones. Um, some of them have come from out of state, and so they were just kind of one-hit wonders, so to speak. But these are, these are local people who um, who are kind of the name. Um, face on their on their companies that they own and that's another thing that that is really important is when you when you do book a DJ or an entertainer you're not you're not just going on Craigslist and getting the $200 DJ you're actually getting getting the real person that's going to give you the full experience and going to spend the time with you to kind of make everything and play the exact songs you want to play and um, run the party you, you the, the way you want it run and, and that's really important to have somebody that, that has that technology and that capability. I love a relationship working together because you know what to expect from me, I know what to expect from you. So when something doesn't go right or you need me to announce something, how does that help having me on the microphone to convey messages so all the guests know what's going on? Well, that just gets down again to, you know, having a quality DJs, they're, they're they're the masters on the microphone. They're the MC of the party. And so it's not about being the loudmouth that everyone's wanting to listen to the whole time. It's about saying the right thing at the right time and being able to get everybody's attention and then getting the crowd either to, to you know, do what you're requesting them to do or to just get them fired up and having a really good time. And I think that that's, you know, something that you guys can transition in and out of really well. The girls are definitely into the details and that's why it's, it's just, it's vitally important to have, um, have a great caterer, a great DJ and a, and a wedding coordinator and, and even just a, a, a good photographer that's gonna um, kind of capture every moment just the way you want it because like I said, it's, it's the first take. You don't get a second take um, and you wanna make sure that it's done right. Weddings are not an inexpensive event. But when you've committed the resources to doing a wedding yeah. and you want it done a certain way, 
there's there's one way to do it and that's that's the right way and you need to you know be prepared for it it'll make all the difference in the world as far as the day of goes um, you know, that ends up being about a 15 hour day for us. I don't think people realize that when it's all said and done, but uh, a you, you, and I are, you and I are there at nine o'clock in the morning and <laughs> right. we're there at, you know, close to midnight every night. Um, and that's just for the day of. Right. So there's a lot that goes into it, but um, we take a lot of pride in what we do. And, uh, and we hope that you would see that in, um, in the, I guess the execution of your, your wedding or your corporate event and, um, and that, that's really important to us and so when, when you have that great experience then you know it's really nice when we hear that feedback from you. So if somebody wanted to book a tour here, book their wedding here, how would they go about doing that? Well they would, they would just reach out to me. Um, we're open every Sunday if they want to stop by for an actual tour uh, of the facility or we can arrange an appointment at that, that way. Uh, email usually works best, um, that's uh, help at oswegohills.com or Derek, D-E-R-E-K, at oswegohills.com and we'll get right back to them within a couple hours.